I'm Josh. And today we will be updating you with all the things Irvington Public School and discussing what the return to school for next week will look like for look like for Irvington Public School. Today we have Miss Riley in the studio with us. Welcome Miss Riley to Irvington Public School News. Can you please tell our viewers what is happening? Thank you, Sophie this and week. Josh. And what a next week. <laughs> Yeah, next week. So thank you, Sophie and Josh, and what an absolute pleasure to be in the studio with your smiling faces. So next week, boys and girls, you will get to come to school for one day. On that one day, you will be with half your class, okay? So you'll get to see your friends and you'll get to see your classroom teacher, okay? So only one day next week and you will have four days learning from home. On that one day you attend school, you will be participating in your normal, regular school activities where you'll do some reading, you'll do some mathematics, you'll get to, um, you'll get to borrow books from the library and you'll get to have normal, regular class experiences. You'll also have an opportunity to discuss your Google Classroom or Seesaw with your classroom teacher. Boys and girls, we are so excited to be, be to be seeing students back at school next week. And um, I know that we're doing a live cross over to Irvington Public School, so we will get to hear about what's the same, what's different. And on your first day back, there will be teachers at the gates greeting you as you come into Irvington Public School. Thanks, Miss Riley. Now we also understand that some things will be a little bit different. When students return and to help the viewers understand we will cross over to Irvington Public School. Goodbye for now! <laughs> now Mr Lewis can you tell us a bit about the classrooms and how they will work? Yeah thanks Indy. Hello boys and girls and everyone at home. When you come to school on your one day you'll go to your regular classroom. So you'll have half your class with you and for most classes you'll be able to spread out across two rooms in the one block. Now, Mr. Lawless, will students be able to sit right next to each other? Uh, great question, Sienna. Teachers will aim to spread you out uh, throughout the classroom, so there might be a seat between uh, you and your friend. You can still speak to each other, uh, but you'll just not be as close to each other as you normally would be on a regular day. So just like Ermo, Unicorn, Tiger and the Elephant are spread out just over here. Thank you, Mr. Lawless. We are now crossing over to Claire and Sophie with Miss McMurray. Ms. McMurray, can you please tell the viewers at home how the classroom will be cleaned and how students may stay healthy at school? Certainly can. Hello everybody at home. We're really looking forward to having you back here again. Um, we cleaned by our wonderful cleaners who do a fantastic job of making sure that all of our tables and chairs are cleaned every single day. The teachers also have a special spray that we get to spray everything with frequently to make sure that there's not any germs lying around. They, we should be all be saying a huge thank you to our cleaners because they do an amazing job and they have been really, really busy lately. We will also be making sure that we are washing our hands all the time. Really, really important. We are washing our hands for 20 seconds every single time to make sure we're keeping those germs at bay. Thank you, girls. Miss Mary, for telling the viewers at home how the classrooms are going to be staying clean and how we're, how we're helping the students to stay healthy. Now, let's go to George with George. George, are we able to use computers? Can we? Can you please tell us? Yeah, so George, that's a very good question. You can use computers still as we use our disinfectant uh, spray and that's sprayed on to the computers um, after use uh, every time that they're used. Thank you, George. We just had an update that Miss Anion has arrived on the screen at Miss Emerson Public School. We are just going to cross over to Miss Enyan in the playground. Mrs. Enyan, I mean the PS News here. Can you please comment on how the playground will be used when students return to school? Thanks, Joanna. Definitely. We have our beautiful playground here that we can spread out in. We're going to have um, three breaks throughout the day. K to two will be having a break together, and three to six will be having a break together at a separate time. Over those three breaks, we've got our spacious grounds here. We've got our grass area, our cola, and we'll be spread out so that we can each have our own space. Unfortunately, our play equipment over here is still closed. 
we will let you know when you are able to use the new play equipment. We've got our picnic tables around that you can sit at and our lovely cleaners, Anne and Ju, will clean those after use. Mrs Enyan, the students are missing their friends so much, can we still give them cuddles? Great question. At this time we're encouraging social distancing. So we want to ensure that we can give our friends air hugs, air high fives, a big smile, and a wave. <laughs> Thanks boys and girls. You're gonna sing it. So Mrs. Harrison, will students get to, will students get to borrow books? Yes they will. They won't be able to come up to the library but you can use Oliver online through your student portal. Click on the books you want and then I will deliver them to the classroom for you. Thank you Mrs. Harrison, that's very helpful. And I'm sure the students will look forward to borrowing books. I've just he heard there is news about the canteen so we'll quick quickly cross over. Now the students love using the canteen. Miss Gray, is the canteen open? Your parents will be able to do online orders for lunch and your lunch orders will be delivered to the classroom. The canteen won't be open to line up and buy things so you won't need to bring any money. Online lunch orders only. Okay, so the main message we are hearing is for parents to order students lunch online. Now that's it. It's from the grounds at Ermington Public School. Let's go back to the studio. So Miss Riley, lots happening at Ermington Public School. You must be very tired. Are there any final messages? Thank you so much, Josh. Yes, one tired principal, principal, but also very, very excited to see the students back at school next week. Boys and girls, please remember to bring your recess, your lunch, your hat. Um, it's okay to wear summer uniform as it gets cooler. We will start to transition into winter uniform. Um, and bring your water bottle as well. That's really important as we don't have bubblers working at the moment. Um, I really can't wait to see all of you. Please tell your parents how proud I am of them for supporting your learning from home. Congratulations to all of you for being engaged, proud, successful students. And we look forward to seeing you that one day per week starting from next week. I'll see you all soon. Well, what, what's all from us today? This is Josh and and Sophie signing off. Stay tuned for more information from Ermington PS News. The news this week has been proudly sponsored by Omo. Goodbye for now. <laughs>